okay uh, four images are in front of us three chest x-rays and a sketch of a water bottle the x-ray in the left upper segment is normal and please note the normal cardiac size even without measuring even visually you can tell that the cardiothoracic ratio is within normal limits on this x-ray and for those who are not aware of the term cardiothoracic ratio the cardiothoracic ratio is helpful in the detection of enlarged heart or cardiomegaly as it is known as although diagnosis of cardiomegaly does not provide required information echocardiogram is the exam of choice having said that the measurement of cardiothoracic ratio is a very standard practice worldwide when it comes to chest radiology the cardiothoracic ratio is measured on a on an erect phs x-ray and is the ratio of maximal horizontal cardiac diameter to the maximal horizontal thoracic diameter maximum transverse diameter of heart should be less than half of the maximum internal thoracic diameter a normal measurement or a normal ratio should be less than 0.5 or in terms of percentage should be less than 50 a measurement more than that usually indicates cardiomegaly as in ventricular hypertrophy or as a result of mitral valve stenosis for example but at times can be because of other reasons such as pericardial effusion or sometimes epicardial fat it is always helpful to have that some extra knowledge that can help you understand whether an increased cardiothoracic ratio is because of cardiomegaly or because of something else so <coughs> the two x-rays in lower part of the screen as you can see both show a marked increase in the cardiothoracic ratio one patient actually has a cardiomegaly and other one does not can you tell which one does not have cardiomegaly the marked enlargement of cardiac outline in this case is not due to cardiomegaly the reason i've chosen this x-ray is that it is a wonderful example of what is known as water bottle sign on chest x-rays cardiac cell height looks like an old-fashioned water bottle water bottle sign again refers to the shape of the cardiac cell height on erect pa or ap chest x-rays in patients who have a very large pericardial effusion the fluid in order to show like that has to be a liter more which causes pericardium to sag mimicking an old-fashioned water bottle sitting on a bench normal amount of pericardial fluid should be between 30 to 40 ml the x-ray in the left bottom corner actually has a mitral valve disease causing enlargement of the left ventricle and thus causing cardiomegaly please note again that for such cases diagnosis on chest x-rays is not enough an echocardiogram will be necessary to confirm pericardial effusion however can also be confirmed on ct scans and mris okay over here i have actually superimposed the water bottle on to the chest x-ray onto the x-ray that has pericardial effusion and it sits perfectly uh, within the cardiac cell height and i hope that will explain the concept thank you very much